Hi, welcome back to Sarah Daily, where we give you our best simple, actionable, reliable advice to help you grow and scale your small business. Today, we are talking about how to regain your passion for your small business if you are feeling a little out of sorts, a little resistant, a little demotivated, uh, a little bit not so excited about the business anymore. I speak from experience when I say this is normal. This happens, especially if you've been in the business or you've had the business for a number of years and have seen major ups and downs as we all have in recent times. Um, It's okay, it's normal, and it's not wrong to feel like you've lost the passion for your business. That doesn't mean you can't recover it. It doesn't mean that anything's wrong with you. It just means that you need to examine some of these things that we're gonna talk about and see if there's a way to uh, reconnect with what your purpose is and the why of the business Uh, and look for some things in it that might connect those dots for you. So let's get started. The first thing is really being conscious of burnout. And burnout is common for small business owners because we have to handle so much on a day-to-day basis. It's not like a job, a job where you can come home and turn off necessarily. Most of us don't do that. It's not that we can't do that, but we don't do that as much with our businesses. And so Burnout happens a lot more, I think, with small business owners because we feel like we always have to be on and we are tied to the business. We're thinking about the business even if we're not there. So recognizing burnout when it's happening, knowing that you're burned out, talking about it, asking for help, whether that's from staff or from family, whatever it takes, but really being conscious of of giving yourself grace and permission if you're feeling burned out to take a little bit of space from the business as much as you can. That's the number one thing. I think a lot of us don't want to admit to burnout or don't think that we can accept burnout because we are so, um, we feel obligated to be there every day. So take the time, take, take the permission, make it okay that if you are feeling burned out to take a little bit of space. The second thing is, this might be obvious, I, you might laugh, I hear this a lot, but stop doing the things you don't like to do. Stop saying yes to stuff that you don't want to do. Stop executing on little tasks that you shouldn't be executing. Start delegating if you can. Um, If there's things that you don't want to sell anymore, you don't want to provide anymore in the business, stop doing those things. When we don't say no to things we want to say no to is, is how we stir up burnout. So really start getting more diligent and more disciplined about saying no to things that you don't want to do. The third thing that can help you when you're feeling disconnected from the passion of your business is to find a mentor to connect with, whether that's um, somebody that's been in your shoes before, another business owner or a coach, somebody that you hire, that can help you find your motivation again. And a lot of times it's as simple as just sitting with somebody who has had a similar experience and can normalize what you're feeling a little bit and give you some light at the end of the tunnel, give you some things to think about and stir that excitement in you again about what's possible and get you re-motivated to come back in and do the work in the business. Um, A fourth thing that you can do if you're feeling like the passion has waned for your small business is to switch up your routine. Um, This might be as simple as just looking at different times of day or different times of week, like changing your schedule of when you're working uh, and giving yourself a new routine that might change up the energy, Um, or looking at perhaps hiring or filling capacity in your business if you've been the primary executor Maybe it's time to get someone else in there to execute things and shift your focus to growth uh, into new revenue streams. So really taking a minute to look at what what feels routine to you and is that the routine that you want to remain in? And then the last thing is to uh, check back, to check in with the source of your resistance. A lot of times when you really sit with what's feeling like resistance for you with your business, it's, it's a little deeper than just the amount of time it takes or um, what's happening in the market. Sometimes I, well, not sometimes, I have seen this with our clients and myself where the resistance is coming from a deeper thing in you. And what helps in these times is to really acknowledge what that resistance is and look at what your big vision is. Because most small business owners are pretty good at both of those things. We can identify what we're resistant to and we know what our big vision is. And once they've disconnected is when we start to feel like we don't necessarily have passion for the business anymore. If you can reconnect them and say, well, my big vision is this, but I'm resistant to this piece. Connecting those two things again might unlock a path for you to get back into passion, to back into excitement and momentum in your business by acknowledging the pieces of it that you're feeling resistant to and seeking support for that. So 
try that. Um, and then at the end of the day, I have to say it, it is totally okay if you are lacking passion for your small business, it's okay to let it go. It's okay to do something different. It's okay to sell it. It's okay to close it. Um, I want to normalize that for us as small business owners because I know we've often we have put so much into the business and we've told so many people about it and we're known for what we've achieved in our business that when we're facing the reality that what we really want to do is be done with it, we can feel a lot of shame or a lot of embarrassment that we're not going to follow through on the vision or the goals that we set out. So I just want to tell you it's okay at the end of the day if, if you're ready for something new in your life and the business is not the thing anymore, it's okay to let it go. So for more tips like this, to have more of these type of conversations, check out the community, our online membership mastermind for women with small businesses. Lots of resources about this, lots of resources to help you find your passion, find the sources of resistance, reconnect to your vision, all of that. And we would love to support your growth. Thanks for watching. Thank you.